Hello everyone and welcome to the Mass and Drum Whiskey Room. My name is Jason C. And if you're a subscriber, thanks so much for the support. If you're new to the channel looking for the latest in whiskey and bourbon news and reviews, you have found the right place. So hit that subscribe button below and hit that bell notification so you know when I'm releasing a new video or you can join in on one of my live streams. Welcome to my first video in a new series called What's on the Shelf Wednesday. In this series, I will be doing quick reviews of whiskeys every Wednesday, whiskeys that you can actually find on the shelf. It's great that the whiskey gods have blessed us with so many special limited releases, but in today's market, it's easy to forget some great whiskeys just sitting on the shelf that are affordable, available, and delicious. And while I love finding and reviewing unicorn bottles for all of you out there, I realize how many offerings that I've overlooked over the years that are available from hunting those unicorn bottles. So this series will focus on bourbons, ryes, Irish whiskeys, and scotches, all that are available on the shelf and they also have to be whiskeys that I haven't reviewed before. So first up today is the Old Granddad Bonded from Jim Beam. So Old Granddad is based on the high rye bourbon recipe made famous by the popular Basil Hayden bourbon. This is the bottled and bond version of Old Granddad bourbon, meaning it was aged at least four years under government supervision. It's bottled at 50% ABV or 100 proof. On the front of the bottle, there is a beautiful picture of Mr. Basil Hayden himself. This is made by Jim Beam, has a mash bill of 63% corn, 27% rye, and 10% malted barley. But the best part is the price. This is only about 20 to 24 bucks. All right, so let's, let's get a pour of some Old Granddad. So as you notice, it does have a higher rye mash bill, just like uh, Basil Hayden, but I was never really a big fan of Basil Hayden, only being 80 proof. I think Basil Hayden is a great starter bourbon, but even as a starter bourbon, I feel like there's better ones out there than Basil Hayden, in my opinion. But this one I really think is a, is a great value, and I haven't really had it in a long time, so I wanted to do a quick review for you guys uh, for what's on the shelf Wednesday. So let's go into the nose and see what we get. Man, this is just orange, spice, a lot of spiciness from that high rye, butterscotch, typical vanilla and caramel flavors here. I'm getting a little bit of that typical Jim Beam honey roasted peanut characteristic that, you know, some people really like, some people don't, but I happen to be a fan of it. Now there is some corn graininess on the, on the nose. It does have a little bit of youth to it, I think. Now remember, a bonded bourbon only has to be four years old. Uh, at least four years, it could be older than that. I, I would guess that this one is probably four years or just over that. I do smell some corn graininess there. I do smell uh, a lot of like fresh corn grain, some corn mash. Uh, if you've ever walked into a distillery, you kind of smell that sweet corn mash in the air. But definitely getting a little bit of that on the nose, which means it's probably, if not at that at least four years old mark, it could be maybe slightly higher, but there is some youth to it. Yeah, it's got kind of like a Cracker Jack type uh, note to it. Some like nuts, some caramel, some, some corn. So uh, let's go into the palace that we get, cheers. Mm, that's so nice. I just mentioned Cracker Jack, and it is. It tastes like a fresh Cracker Jack box. It's caramel, it's vanilla, it's peanut, corn, honey. Very, very pleasing on the uh, front of the palate. Then on the back, you definitely get some of that rice spice. That 27% rye is really coming in nicely. Really beautiful on the palate here. Let's go for another sip. Yeah, that high rye is coming through to me as uh, citrus and uh, kind of uh, rich, dark, uh, like kind of the dark brown sugars on it. It's weird, it kind of starts off a little bit youthful. You can taste the corn, you can taste the vanilla, you can taste the caramel. They're not deep, they're not rich, but you can definitely taste it up front. But the way it finishes, it finishes a little bit like an older bourbon. You get a little bit of um, uh, maybe a leather tobacco type note to it, just slightly. You definitely get some, um, some of that rye spice characteristic on there. The pepperiness, it definitely kind of lingers, hangs around a little bit. Really nice on the palate. One last sip here. Yeah, as, you, as your palate kind of gets used to this, it, it gets a little bit muted. You're, I think, I think the, uh, the flavors kind of go away a little bit. It's not like that first or second sip where everything kind of explodes out of the glass. It kind of gets a little bit muted, but um, in any case, I think Old Granddad Bonded while it's a little bit on corn forward, it's a little bit caramel, it definitely has that honey roasted peanut characteristic. Um, if you like Jim Beam, if you like that peanut, if you like that caramel, just typical bourbon flavors, something that's not gonna kill your wallet, Old Granddad Bonded is not a bad option. I do think there's some other uh, bonded uh, whiskeys I might take over this one, but if you're a fan of that Jim Beam flavor profile for 20, 23 bucks, this is an absolute steal and it's on the shelf. 
All right, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of What's on the Shelf Wednesday. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think of this one, if you kind of get the same experience that I do when you try this. Uh, if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. Uh, find me on Instagram. Find me on Twitter. Think about becoming a Patreon as well. Uh, love hearing from you guys. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey. It's the people you share it with. Take care and time to go see what else is on the shelf. Cheers. Wow.